So I had a talk with my carpenter the other day and I said, you know what? I don't want carpeted steps. So he gave me a blank stare. Hey kids, Adam here, and today I'm going to go through my OBS and Reaper setup for how I make these YouTube videos. Now, there's been a number of questions over time of how to get Reaper and OBS set up and how to get things working, how to use Restream, how to get all the audio and input setting up. And I, you know, I've worked on this for the last couple of months and I've, I finally got to the point where I think it's actually reasonable. So I'd like to share that with you and hopefully this will help somebody else. All right, we're over in Reaper. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to add Restream to your monitoring FX. That makes it the easiest place to put it. You don't have to mess with outputs. You don't have to mess with uh, reroute or any of that stuff. Uh, this is the best way to do it. So you can go to View, Monitoring FX, or there's this little button way up in the right corner here. And you want to add Restream to it. And I just use the one that comes with, with Reaper, um, the A channel one. and leave the identifier as default. You can really make that whatever you want. You want to change this to local broadcast. I think the default is broadcast. And you can see that when I play this then, I'm sending audio. All right, in Reaper, this is all you should have to do. There's a number of other things on the out on the internet floating around about virtual cable software, uh, loopback software, this and that. This is really all you need. All right, once we have Reaper all set up with Restream, you want to download the regular Replugs. Um, and if you just could do a Google search for Replugs, you can click on this link. You can grab the download. You want probably Windows 64-bit. If you're using a Mac, I don't know, look for Mic Replugs, Mic Download, Mic 64-bit. I, I, got, I got nothing. I have no idea how to use a Mac. Um, I know there was, for a while, there was one mouse button and that just was too complex for me. So I decided to go with the Windows route. So this will allow you to use all these different plugins on any DAW or any piece of software that allows plugins. You can use it on OBS. You can use it on something like DaVinci Resolve, which is what I use to edit these videos. And the one that we want, if we scroll down, we want uh, Restream right here. Next, we want to go into OBS. And this is going to look goofy because I have all my different windows here and the window within 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 sorry in obs here first thing you want to do is you want to get your settings set up uh first thing i like to do is just go to audio notice i have no devices set up i've seen a number of tutorials where you they want you to choose for your desktop audio they want you to choose a device choose a device for your mic i found that that it's that doesn't work correctly for me. I can't get Restream to work if I use any of these devices here. So I leave all these disabled. If you're having problems with Restream not working, this might be where you're having problems. Okay, then I want to go into output and I want to skip the streaming, go right to the recording tab. All these things are grayed out just because I'm recording right now, but you want to choose your recording path. You want to choose, I choose MP4 since it seems to be more universal. And then I choose the audio tracks. You'll see in a little bit where these come from. I choose one through three. OBS can output up to six audio tracks and they will show up separately on your on your project. Uh, so I have bass, I think bass is one, microphones two, and my Reaper Restream is three. And then audio, all I do in here is I change the bitrate all up to 320. All right, that's pretty much it for the settings. Next thing you want to go into your scenes and set up your scenes. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, in my camera only scene, which is just a full screen camera here, I have my boom mic, which you can't see, but it's right here. And then I have a second input for just my bass guitar. I'll get into that in a little bit when I show you the, the mixer setup. But for now, all you really need is a camera and a microphone, and then if you want Reaper to play through the Restream. I'll go to the next. I have two, uh, one for a camera in the upper right, or upper left, one for the camera in the lower right. So going bottom to top, I have my desktop one, which is just you add your uh, display capture, and then it'll choose which monitor you want. I have two. I'm using the one straight in front of me so that I'm not looking this way when I'm doing this. And uh, that's probably why I'll have all these windows and a window and a window and a window and a window. Second is your video camera. Then you have your mic and I have a separate input for my bass. Uh, I'll get to that. When you, if you just do add, you do audio input capture. Um, I just, you know, name it like mic. And then you choose your 
device. So that's how you do it for your mic. Then you get up to the restream. And what I did for this is I chose the same, I, I, I added another audio device and I just kept my same interface here. So all three of these restream boom mic and my bass input, they're all three from my interface. Once we're done with that, you want to click over here, and, and these inputs should then show up on your mixer. You want to click over here and do advanced audio properties, and that will pull up your mixer here. Once you're in this mixer here, uh, there's a couple things you need to figure out. The first one is your restream, and you just want to leave that. I put it at negative 6 dB below, you know, 6 dB below everything else just because it typically is a little bit louder than my mic is picking up. You have your camera. You don't have to worry about that because this is audio only. I leave all my audio monitoring for audio off. And then here's the trick to get more than one input from your interface. So here's my bass, here's my boom mic. What I do is I pan my mic to my to the left side, bass to the right side, but then I check mono for both of these. And now what that'll do is just gonna put it right up the center as a singular mono channel. And then I want my mic a lot of gain on it because it is a little bit further away. Like I said, I mean, it's, it's not quite arm's length away. And if you look here and you, this hand over here, it's not high enough. This is about where my speakers are. So right foot green is, oh, sorry, that's something else. What you want to do is you can, uh, OBS can input or output, I should say, can output up to six audio tracks. What you want to do is you want to separate these so that when you are in your audio or your, uh, your video rendering program, you can have all your audio on separate tracks. You don't want to, you know, like Reaper and the microphone on the same track. So what I do here, I put Restream for Reaper on track three. I put my boom mic on track two and I put my bass on track one. And then I do have four checked for if I ever do a stream, uh, I can just shoot all the stream audio separately. Uh, look forward to something like that in the future. And then we want to look at each of our filters on all of our devices. So we'll start with the restream first. Right click on it, do filters. What I want is I want to make sure that there's no audio coming through the microphone into Reaper first. This I stole shamelessly from John Tidy. I put three gain plugins and I put the gain all the way down to negative 30. So there's negative 90 dB of gain before anything comes in. Uh, which we should eliminate all everything coming through the microphone, anything coming through my bass channel. All I want is Reaper to come through here. Next up is I add in the VST plugin and I choose this Restream standalone. And this should come in once you install those replugs, this should show up on your list here. Choose the identifier as default and set it to receive. That that should be all you need to do. And now if I go into Reaper and I play something. And I go back, this is the, you can see the OBS is receiving this audio. And then what I do is I put a ducking compressor on so that every time my voice comes in when Reaper's playing, I want it to lower the volume of Reaper. This, it's not a great interface. It takes a lot of screwing around to get the right setup. And then if you're a little overexcited one day or underexcited and a little bit mellower, you may need to adjust these parameters. What I found for my voice, ratio of 10 to one, threshold of negative something, 53 something, and then I mess with the attack and release to try to get the, uh, try to get things to come up where when I talk, Reaper ducks, and then when I stop, Reaper comes back in a, in a not such a shocking way, but a little more gradual. And then you choose your side chain device, which is my boom mic here. That's it for the restream. This should get you all your audio from Reaper into OBS. But I wanna show you a couple other things that I do here too. Uh, one thing, because I don't have, I, I'm not wearing headphones. I know a lot of guys, will, like John Tidy's for one, he'll wear headphones when he's doing this so he doesn't have any bleed through the mic. Uh, what I found I can do is if I right click on my boom mic here, do filters, I can add both a noise gate and this noise suppression. Uh, for the noise suppression is really easy. I just leave the higher quality uh, RN noise. I don't know what that means, but it seems to suppress. I'm 30 feet or so from my furnace. If, when that goes on, I don't really hear it through. The noise gate is the one that I had a little bit of a trick setting up. What this is supposed to do is this is supposed to leave, even when Reaper's playing, as long as I'm not talking, it won't pick up through the mic because it's not coming above these thresholds. In the open and close thresholds, you kind of have to play around with these. I think the default on both is 32. I've also had times where this doesn't seem to work 
correctly. And I have to go in here and kind of set it off and set it back. And it seems like it triggers it to pick this up. But this is actually works pretty well. So I can go into Reaper and I complain it does not come through my mic. And then attack, hold time and release time, I kind of just play with to get where I want it to be. And this is, there's a lot of trial by fire here. And you can look at the meters down below here to see what's going on. Like when I open Reaper, I'm gonna, I'll open it and play it and come back here. You can kind of see, so when I when I talk, you can see Reaper duck right here, Restream duck. And then when I stop talking, it goes back up. But you can also kind of see The, the release time kind of fade off there when the noise gate kicks in. So that's really all that I'm doing here in the in, in my in my setup. I want to keep the setup as simple as I can. I've messed around with a lot of things like the noise gate and the duck and compressor to, to, to work. And I'll probably keep tweaking those as I do videos and I find out they either work right or wrong. Or if I have a say a mastering project, which is going to be naturally louder than my mixing project, I may have to tweak things or I may actually have to turn on the volume and reaper. But really that's all the setup that I use. I just want to show you this real quick. This is DaVinci Resolve. I'm not going to go through a tutorial through this, but I want to show you how it's automatically splits out these tracks. Uh, there's a couple other, I think John Tidy's uh, uh, 2020 um, video setup video has using FFmpeg to split out each of the individual audio tracks. It's kind of a pain and it's it doesn't, it, it works if you want to use Reaper for your editing, but since I'm using Resolve, it does it automatically. All right, so uh, pull in, a, I have this little intro video that I did with the little bass jam. So I can pull that in. I have, you know, you can see the bass track is here. I, I also have down here is the Reaper track. So you can see how everything separates it out. And then if I want to bring in, there's my joke video. You can see that the microphone is on a different track altogether. So you have bass on the first track. We have audio microphone on the second track, and then we have what's coming through Reaper on the third track. Nothing really bleeds over, especially with that noise gate on the microphone. I get very, very little if, if no, no bleed over at all from Reaper. All right, that'll be it for this video. If you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button, click the like, leave me a comment. I love getting comments from people. Give me some ideas on videos you'd like to see, uh, some things that uh, maybe you would like me to go into more detail on. I know I brushed through a lot of these pretty fast. I want to keep these videos relatively short. I'm no, uh, I, I'm no let's uh, talk about Reaper guy or anything, but uh, I, I do want to keep them relatively short. I tend to babble way too much. Uh, if uh, you really want to help, uh, there's a link down there for um, buying me a Coke. I won't show you the Coke can because I, I drink it. I don't have one down here. Until next time, add them out. Why would I say that? What do you say at the end of a video? I did the like over and out and I've never said that before. I almost said 10 4 once and I don't know what even what that really is supposed to mean. Um, over and out sounds kind of lame. Until next time. Until next time is kind of cool. Look at what until next. You should have clicked another video by now. I don't know why you're still watching this.